Hello, it's me again, and today I'm going to be making some more pieces for Android 11. So I've got the pieces that I made last time. I've also got some right angle aluminium brackets, which I'm going to drill some holes in um, so we can attach the pieces together and then make a whole bunch of other pieces. And then hopefully by the end of this video, we should have uh, most of the upper body mechanics assembled. Let's put the camera down. Right. a hole and many more to come. Right, here's a bit of a tip. I've drilled holes in this aluminium, but on the bottom of uh, where the drill came through, it's quite rough. So uh, you can spend ages filing that off and then obviously the holes aren't very clean. A bit of a tip, take a bigger drill bit and just do this. Just clean the holes up on each one. Just like that. This is only aluminium, so it's fairly soft. It makes nice clean holes. So there we are, that's the uh, HDPE and the two aluminium brackets and the two bits of styrene that I cut out mounted. There's going to be a servo in the middle roughly there which I've got some extra brackets for and then I just need to make a hinge mechanism at the bottom and basically the base and a stick for the servo to push off so it can hinge backwards and forwards. So, time to go back to the shed. So now I've got all the holes drilled in the HDPE to mount everything on. I'm just about to make a bracket out of this piece of aluminium. Which I need to cut off and bend into a U-shape for the bottom. So I've put the aluminium in a vise and just use this to check that it's perfectly upright. And I'm going to use this just to bend it over. Let's see if I can put the camera here and not knock it off whilst I do it. Let me just put it in the camera because that's going to fall off. There we go, so there's one angle, I just need to do the other one, and then that's going to sit there to make the bottom of the hinge. So I've bent that other piece now, and this is what we've got so far, which is the two sides, and that's going to be the base, so it can hinge, which fits in the middle. So, a few more pieces to make, and then we can start putting it together. Right, so there we go, so that's most of that assembled. So what we've got is a, a hinged piece there and a base for it to go on. That's gonna be on top of the Android there so it can hinge backwards and forwards. And I've got a servo in there. I've cut a hole in the back um, so that it can move all the way back and it's not restricted by the board. Um, and then I'm gonna put a block on the top of this piece of six mil studding, which is gonna have a lever to the servo. So as the servo moves, it makes the, the, the back move. It doesn't need to move very much. It's um, the, the, basically the servo is highly levered because it's not a very strong servo, the same as all of the servos in this. For 180 degrees of movement, basically the, the uh, thing will only move a few degrees. So it's um, sort of mechanically geared down. So um, I just need to basically put that linkage in, mount this on here, mount the power supply and the battery on here with the electronics. Whoops. And uh, basically I've got another servo controller because I'm out of channels on that one, which is a, a Mini Maestro 12 channel. And um, so I just need to sort out the electronics and all the wiring, and then hopefully next time we 
should find that it dynamically balances backwards and forwards.